On Friday, the Cardano blockchain experienced a rare and unexpected event. A temporary chain split caused by a single malformed delegation transaction. This transaction, which on the surface appeared valid under protocol rules, triggered a long dormant bug in one of Cardano's underlying software libraries. Newer node versions accepted the transaction, older versions rejected it. The result was a network partition. Two separate chains emerged for several hours, one carrying the poison transaction and one that did not. Intersect, Cardano's member-based governance organization, published a detailed incident report confirming that this exploited a bug in an underlying software library that was not trapped by validation code. Block production continued on both forks, meaning the chain never fully halted, but the divergence forced exchanges and third-party services to pause ADA deposits and withdrawals as a precautionary measure. Within hours, the community coordinated an emergency response. Stake pool operators were instructed to upgrade to node version 10.5.3, and the network successfully reconverged into a single canonical chain. Critically, no user funds were lost, and most retail wallets were unaffected. The individual behind the transaction quickly came forward. A stake pool operator using the pseudonym Homer J posted a public apology on X, admitting responsibility. In his words, Sorry Cardano folks, it was me who endangered the network with my careless action yesterday evening. I felt awful as soon as I realized the scale of what I've caused, I am sorry, I truly am. I didn't have evil intentions. He claimed he was attempting to reproduce a known problematic transaction using AI-generated code and insisted he had no financial motive. Cardano co-founder Charles Hoskinson took a dramatically different tone. In a video statement, he described the incident as deliberate sabotage and warned of serious legal consequences. This kicked a hornet's nest, and in many jurisdictions, this is a felony, a very serious one. It's tampering with and damaging a digital network. It's like trying to shut down an economy and conduct a cyber attack on a nation state. Hoskinson confirmed that the FBI has been contacted and is now investigating the event as a potential cyber attack. Forensic analysis by Intersect suggests the wallet involved is linked to a participant from Cardano's 2019 incentivized testnet era, adding an extra layer of intrigue. Despite the disruption, ADA's price barely reacted, dropping from approximately 0.44 to 0.40 movement largely in line with the broader crypto market correction that has been underway for weeks. Many pointed out the irony. On most other Layer 1 networks, an outage would have sparked panic selling, yet this one barely moved the price. Hoskinson later emphasized the positive. The rapid recovery demonstrated Cardano's resilience. The network survived, he said. This incident has reignited old debates within the community about node decentralization, upgrade urgency, and whether exposing vulnerabilities through real-world stress tests ultimately strengthens or endangers the ecosystem. What is undeniable is that Cardano faced a real-world adversarial event and emerged intact, with no loss of funds and a fix deployed in hours. Whether this episode is ultimately remembered as an embarrassing accident or a successful fire drill will depend on the outcome of the ongoing federal investigation. If you found this breakdown useful, please consider giving the video a like, leaving a comment with your thoughts, and subscribing for more in-depth cryptocurrency analysis. Thank you for watching.